Hey guys, I am so excited to bring you my Palms, Pines, and Fishing Lines coast-to-coast uh, -coast American Moto Adventure video series. This is installment number one, or episode one. Let's call them episodes. Um, I originally planned a 28-day trip that was supposed to take me into Canada. Uh, travel restrictions at the border, which were looking like they'd loosen up. Now I don't even really know where they're at, but regardless, Canada was out given the timing of when this fit my life, when I could go. So we made it an all United States trip. In retrospect, um, I'm happy about that. Um, the United States is a very big and very beautiful country and I saw some amazing things and and there's some real surprises in this series uh, that are coming up things that I couldn't have even fathomed would happen um, when I set out on this trip even though I had a pretty solid plan of what I was going to do and where I was going to be so uh, the first thing I want to say before we jump into this first episode is I want to thank Alpha Moto for supporting the trip. Um, you know, they, they provided funding to help with costs on the trip. Um, they're, they're not officially sponsoring the video series. They, are, they sponsored the trip and, and their funds went to help pay for lodging and camping and that type of thing. Um, so thanks to Alpha Moto, and um, I use their tools, I use their battery maintainer, I use their auxiliary fuel tank. They've got some just great motorcycle tools that uh, are very unique and only people in the motorcycling world, uh, you know, need these things. But when you need them, they got them. It's fantastic. So thanks to them. Also thanks to Shinko Tires for donating some tires for the trip. Um, the tires become something to watch. It was a very big distance. It was very hot and the bike was uh, quite loaded with weight. So um, enjoy that adventure as it unfolds. I'm going to try to release uh, one of these videos every uh i'm gonna try every week i may not make that because I, I really do have to get back to my real life and my job but um i'll try my best at least every two weeks and i thought there might be a dozen episodes here but now in retrospect i think there's a single episode for every single day some of these days i could break into two episodes um there are characters along the way that I met or that I have talked about in the past and you will get to meet them. Um, you will get an inside look into some of the people and places in my book, Creating Mr. Corton. And uh, it was quite a trip, you know. I started out in the Pacific Ocean uh, here on the West Coast and I went across the United States on a diagonal uh, all the way to Portland, Maine, and had some great seafood at Jay's Oyster uh, Bar in Portland, Maine. And then I turned around and started heading home, but I enjoyed all kinds of other America along the way. And uh, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy. Thanks. Here we go. There's a little room for me in there. The sun has already come up quite a bit just in the time I put that gear on. Time to get going. Family sleeping.
One more shot of coffee. So, that way is Japan and Korea. The Aleutians are that way. Hawaii, down there somewhere. It's so peaceful out here. So I'll just share a few, I don't know, tips or things I do uh, for better or for worse. One of the things I do when I step away from my bike, uh, as I mentioned in my prep video and my packing video, that um, I tend to put items that are valuable in the locking cases, uh, but I also... Like as I'm talking, there's a guy standing next to my bike, so I'm paying very close attention to him, but I think he's just, he's just walking and he stopped to look at his phone. Anyways, one of the things I do is grab my tank bag, which has my wallet and all the cameras and uh, just, you know, some of the more critical smaller uh, but kind of high price tag items not that I buy expensive cameras I don't okay let's get going Portland Maine here we come Good sign. I had to stop and get a little video of this bike that I just passed. Obviously a CB. Very cool. Some nice details there. And I like how it's a little ratty. Like the speed holes drilled into the uh, front sprocket cover. Yeah, there's a whole lot about that I like. We're near the American Legion, so maybe there's a connection here? I don't know. I wish the owner was around, I'd ask him about it. somewhere outside of Barstow on the edge of the desert when the drugs began to take effect. Seriously though, it's the heat is starting to take effect. The sun is getting high and it is the edge of the desert. I just wish these fucking bats would go away.
guys. It's 8.30 in the morning. I'm uh, on my way to Baker and I've just got to get the, uh, the vest out. It is time. Man, it's heavy. It holds a lot of water. There's too much water in it right now, but I don't care. It feels really good. Ah. Well, that just lowered my body temperature quite a bit. I mean, seriously, I think... Uh, it feels so cold against me and I'm not even moving yet. It is dripping down on me, but who cares? I'll probably drive in rain uh, on this trip. So it is dripping down a little bit on my belt and my waistline, uh, but that's gonna stop shortly, I know. And I don't care, I'm cool. I'm just cool as a cucumber. I must be in Las Vegas. Anybody know where the restrooms are? Yeah. It's supposed to be the James Bond Lotus from, was it Spy Who Loved Me or was it? Let's see, there's a sign I bet. Yeah, Spy Who Loved Me. Okay, it's over a hundred, probably 103, 104 maybe, guessing. It's hot, and uh, I'm stopping at this grocery store to get some lunch and some air conditioning. Um, I'm gonna try to stop at grocery stores when I can and get like green food, you know, like real greens. And uh, first thing I noticed is I stopped at a gas station, oh, 70 miles ago and left my keys back here. They're still there, but I gotta stop doing that. I do have spare keys with, so if you take a trip like this, do have a second set of keys somewhere. Um, but first lesson for Urban Monk. Okay, broccoli. I bought a bag of just organic florets that are already washed. And then I got this little silver foldy bag. It gets really flat when I need it to. I bought some frozen blueberries, which are really good for you, but they make a nice cooler. They'll be nicely thawed just when I want to eat them later. So, a little snack. Oh, and I also got some coconut water. Um, water's good, 
but coconut water has electrolytes in it. It's like uh, nature's Gatorade, you know. There is the reason why that lake is there. Uh, completed in the 1930s as a public works project. $240 million budget. It came in uh, at budget, not necessarily under budget, I guess, and uh, generates uh, over 2,000 megawatts of power and of course uh, flooded that entire valley. Clearly the water level has been higher. Um, what else did I read that was interesting? 100 men died in the building of this thing. One more thing I think is worth mentioning is the Art Deco style that is built into this complex. If you go into those towers, I think there's like restrooms in one of them, um, but classic Art Deco architectural style, uh, which is very common in the time. And if you go to the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, uh, same thing around it, built during the same time. Okay, hotter than hell, not camping tonight, checking into a Vegas hotel. Um, bellhop service, gonna take everything off the bike, put it on the cart, they'll bring it up to my room, easy peasy. Uh, and then I just self park the bike. Well, it's another American experience. Okay. Let's see what we get for $29, which I've gotten a lot of camping reservations on this trip for $30 with the online registration fee. Here, hang on. Uh, that should do. A light would be nice. Hmm. It's all right. It's a little dated, but it'll do the trick. What is important is that this air conditioner is blasting cold air right now, and it could not feel better. It's a non-smoking room that has that smell like it's been smoked in, not really recently, but at some point for sure. Like maybe the room wasn't smoked in, but this furniture has been smoked somewhere and then brought in here. Okay, so the bellhop delivered my stuff. 
from off the bike. So there's nothing on the bike that I got to worry about. Not much of a view, to be honest. Uh, I did take the cheapest rate they had at the hotel because I didn't care, you know. It's really supposed to be a camping trip, but it's too bloody hot. So I can do this for a night. Okay, so my day so far, some things I wanted to explain. Um, why did I take the freeway here? Um, that is not my preferred choice of road for motorcycling. I'm gonna change this camera angle because it's doing weird things with the light. That's better. Um, it's so hot. I mean, it's, uh, I don't even know what time it is. It's like 1.30 in the afternoon. It was over 100 by 9 30 10 a.m and uh, i think it's 105 now in fahrenheit so while my vest kind of just takes the edge off eventually it dries out and with going to hoover dam um, it kind of dried out on me and i began sweating and so then my sweat was keeping me cool but um you know, that takes a lot of water. I drank all the water I had on the bike, except for the stuff that's just hot, frankly. And, um, you know, I'm, I've decided to go fast, get here as quickly as I could, get the site in that I wanted to visit, which really was Hoover Dam. But frankly, you know, now that I'm here in Las Vegas, I may as well show you this. Las Vegas is a site in and of itself, although it's, plastic and man-made and weird and I guess Hoover Dam is man-made too but um, I don't know Vegas is what it is some people love it some people hate it I'm kind of ambivalent um, so we'll look at that I need to cool off I need to take a shower uh, this shirt is smelling and I'm just I need to cool down and uh, but the one thing about the freeway is that the bike is in absolute top gear, so it's turning the lowest number of RPMs to maintain that speed, and its velocity then is quite high, uh, meaning it's traveling through the air pretty quickly on the freeways like that, and that means more airflow through the radiator. And the radiator simply is a function of the differential between the temperature uh, in uh, the water coming out of the engine and the temperature of the air going through the radiator and that radiator's efficiency. And so if your differential between those two is getting shorter, which it was, you got a hot engine, you got hot air, um, then with a smaller differential, the math tells you you just have to move more air through the radiator to do the same amount of cooling. That's why I chose the freeway. Um, as I get out of this hot area of the country and head further north, I'm gonna be taking less freeways, but you know, I'm going 10,000 miles in 25 days. There's no way I'm going to avoid them completely. Um, but there's a lot of fun stuff just off the freeway and uh, don't, don't get me wrong, we will be on some really good motorcycling roads in other parts of the country. So that's it, uh, let me take a shower. Oh, L.U., will you come and loofer my stretch marks? <sighs> So one of the things they'll do is give you a really inexpensive room because they think you're going to drop $1,000 in the casino. But the joke's on them, I'm going to drop $5,000 in the casino. The other thing I got to comment on is there are a lot of people here uh, and a lot of people not wearing masks. I know a lot of people are vaccinated, but I believe statistically it's like a third or maybe a little more than a third of the United States. So that leaves the majority of us unvaccinated 
And if I had to guess, I'd say the majority of people here are not wearing masks indoors. I don't really care outdoors, but you know, I got my vaccines, so I guess I don't care, but I do, you know. What about other people? So, anyways, I know, contentious topic. I'll leave it alone. And I'd be remiss if I didn't point out uh, the Paris Hotel and Casino because I make reference to it in my book in the first chapter. Uh, and, you know, I'm not necessarily flattering. It is what it is. And, you know, yeah, read the book. You'll see what I said about it. I checked in a little on the earlier side, and now I'm glad I did. One thing Americans love to do is queue up. I learned that from a Brit. Okay, I am back in my room after walking around, getting some dinner. So I walked around Vegas, got some of the footage that you saw here. And I'm now just transferring video files from all of the different cameras into my computer. And I will do this every evening and I I'm finding that the heat and the walking around, um, all of it is just really starting to get to me all of a sudden. It's only 7.15 p.m. Uh, and I'm, I'm exhausted. So I am going to do this and just start winding down. And we will hit it again tomorrow where I will be on my way to Utah and hopefully some cooler temperatures. Thank you.